Hey, I'm Sarah Wolf. Today, I'm taking over my mom's video. I'm going to show you how to make this finger loop knit infinity scarf made from loop yarn. To do this, I'm using one ball of Loop It yarn by Red Heart. You can see how the yarn strand has thick plush loops on it. Lay the strand down and count the first eight loops. Take the ninth loop and insert it into loop number eight. Give it a little tug as you pull it through. Take the next loop on the strand and insert it into loop number seven. Like before, give it a tug as you are pulling it through. Put the next loop into loop number six. The next loop into loop number five. The next one into four, three, two, and then put the next loop into loop number one, which is the last one on the end. Now we're going to work in the other direction. Take the next loop on the yarn strand and put it through the loop of the last stitch we just made. You can see how we're doing the same thing as we did before, just in the other direction. And for the next row, take the loops and work in the other direction again. You'll find this gets easier the more you do it. If you are familiar with knitting, this stitch pattern is called the stock knit stitch. Keep doing this back and forth stitching until you have about 16 loops left over at the end. Now it's time to bind off our work, which means to finish it. Take a loop from the yarn strand and push it through our first loop. Then take the next loop from the yarn strand and push it through the next loop. Now take our new second loop and push it through our new first loop like this. Take the new loop from the yarn strand and push it through the next stitch. Then push this new loop through the previous loop. Repeat this process across all the stitches to form the last row. When you have one loop remaining, take the entire yarn strand and pull it through that last loop. This will tighten and knot the strand so it doesn't come undone. Now it's time to sew the ends together to form the cowl. To do this, we need to break apart the remaining loops. There's a little thread holding the loop in place. With your scissors, carefully cut this thread. Do the next one, and the next one, and all remaining loops. Lay the two ends of your scarf next to each other. With that straight strand, use it to finger sew the ends together. Push the strand through the edges of the bottom section and the top section. And then pull the end through. Do this along the entire edge to sew the two ends together. Turn the scarf over to the back side. Now, Take the ending strand and weave it in the ends. What that means is push the strand over and under a couple of stitches on the back. Cut the extra end once completed. Finally, take your scarf and twist it like this to form a cute loop knit infinity scarf. You can add a decorative pin like I did on mine if you want. You can find more information on my mom's website, Nastasia.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Reviews by Sarah. Thanks for watching.